Hello, welcome to Alertops Escalation Rule Overview. In this video we will cover the concept of escalation rules in Alertops and how they can supercharge your incident response processes. If we think of groups and scheduling in Alertops as the module determining who's on call and when. Escalation rules serve to determine who of the on-call responders should be notified and how they are notified. Escalation rules not only determine how to contact the appropriate on-call resources, but also house all of the accompanying automation occurring during this incident response process. User-based escalation rules allow for users to manage the timeline for their each of their individual notifications themselves. Centralized escalation rules allow central control and management of notification and timeline of alerting by an administrator. Escalation rules also provide you granular control over how each member role will be notified. Within any member role, control how that role is notified and their notification timeline. Add or remove contact methods. Set up repeat notifications at a communication channel or over all, and define your wait time between your members of the same role or prior to the next role. The escalation timeline provides a handy view of how this escalation rule would notify your responders based on who's on call now. You can administer the behavior of your group contacts within your escalation rule as well. Add remove and modify the times during which group contact methods will notify your responders. Add workflows to your escalation rule to add additional automation to your processes and truly make your escalation rule an incident response playbook. Workflows are automated actions that trigger when the trigger conditions are satisfied. Outbound integrations trigger automatically whenever an alert is kicked off. Outbound actions are available as a button within an alert for manual trigger. Use the options tab to set specific behavior for your rule. Within your escalation rule, determine what response actions can be taken via what channel of communication, the types of messaging that should be sent, as well as set your SLA and your alert type. Thank you for taking a look at filtering and integration sequencing with AlertOps. For more videos please check out our knowledge base or YouTube.